Build pipelines like GitLab CI, CD or GitHub Actions are often seen as a safe space, but who says that no bad actor gained access to the build pipeline to add his malicious code or that the build service can be trusted? This thesis adds the Salsa framework, a collection of requirements defined to make the supply chain more secure. Salsa concentrates its requirements mainly on the threats to the build and its artifacts. Suppose we have this usual build pipeline with a build job, a store job, and a deploy job. An attacker could just replace a generated artifact, and no one would know. Salsa requires that the build service creates a provenance attestation containing the build's metadata, like hashes of the generated artifacts. This makes it impossible to replace artifacts without replacing the provenance attestation. Then the attacker just replaces the artifact and the provenance attestation. For this, Salsa requires that the provenance attestation is signed on creation and verified before deployment, granting authenticity and integrity. But the attacker can still deploy the artifacts ignoring the verification step. The deployment is done in two steps. The first step store the artifacts and the provenance attestation to a package repository. The second step is deploying the software, detached from the build pipeline access. This is where the verification step is run. What if the attacker compromised a dependency? For each build, the dependencies are checked by a dependency scanner. If all dependencies are clean, the pipeline proceeds as usual. But if any dependency has a known vulnerability, the pipeline is aborted and no artifacts are deployed. 